This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster My Podcast. And these are the Key Rin or the Kai Rin. There's a monster in my podcast. I hate this thing. And it <laughs> looks like um, the horse from a merry-go-round. It, it, it absolutely does. It's got some real merry-go-round legs. Maybe this is their version of a very of a very mild stunt. And, and look at his look at his little like his the corner of his mouth. <laughs> like, look at the shit eating grin on this Kieran. Like oh, I hate everything about he, this. He's guy. got a he, he's he's got a chin strap. Is what he's got. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't you don't want to be a smug, lawful, good like celestial creature when you've got your rocking, you know, rocking a, an Abe Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, no. When you're you know? when you're when you're rocking a a, a, a man pawn across your uh, across your jowls, yeah, no, that's no good. Also, look at his shoulders, Gary. I'm going to direct your eyes just a little bit downwards. Does this fucker? Did he put flame decals on his body? <laughs> this thing. There's nothing good about this guy. <laughs> he's he's extremely bad. His horn is pointing in the wrong direction. It, yeah, it's it's just to show where he's been. Like it's, you know, <laughs> it, it's um. So these things, I think, are a, like a mythological creature of the east. They are, yes, yes. I, I, um, I looked it up as well, and I and I think that like the idea of this this kind of like lawful good wish granting thing that flies around <laughs> the sky to operate as a Deus Ex Machina for DMs, right, is shitty. Right. Um, um, and we also we're we're, we're not at a law. Lo- we're we're not lacking sky horses. No, like we're <laughs> we're so full up on Skyhorse, like we're like two thirds of the way through this book, maybe a little, you know, sixty percent through this book, and we have so many Sky mounts. <laughs> like you know, we got five thousand free Sky mounts when we signed up for the Southwest Visa. <laughs> like we don't need any more. Yeah, but like the, like these are basically demigods. Is 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 what's happening here? Yeah. Uh, and, and again, like we have the Quattle problem, where obviously a Kyrin wrote this entry. So yeah. uh, the Kyron's Coast covered luminous golden scales like a sunrise on a clear morning. <laughs> yeah, they have a mel- melodious voice. <laughs> um, and they just kind of wander around looking for people to do good ge- deeds for. Yeah. Um, and living in elaborate like mansions they made up on top of mountains, <laughs> we get the ex- express like idea that they're doing this to kind of show off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's very much like even though they do not covet mortal goods, they will, uh, you know, have nice things for themselves. Yeah, because of course they do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do not like a monster manual entry that thinks it's better than you. <laughs> you like, <piece> shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who this guy thinks he is, but like just this this expression, like it's looking right at the reader. Like, <laughs> don't you want don't you wish Hello. your girlfriend was hot like me? <laughs> You know, like it's, it's very, yeah. no, you can't afford it. It's like, oh. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. you know, if you, if you don't uh, appreciate me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> like these things are, you know, are just like doing kind of kind of like diva Facebook posts. <laughs> Kyren believe in self improvement, though, and do not casually come to human to a humanoid's aid except in the most dire of circumstances this is this guy is like i knew this by looking at his face he says hey sometimes the best way to help somebody is to let them fail yeah some of god's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers i'm god <laughs> hi <laughs> i'm god <laughs> and some of my greatest gifts are unanswered prayers <laughs> the, um yeah i i just uh you know i'm just imagining myself like you know, like i fall down at the bottom of the hill and i break my leg Mm-hmm. And this thing is just hovering above me with this expression on its face, <laughs> trying to decide whether I would build enough character clawing up the hill uh, by myself or whether it would call 911 for me. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's just like it could be like, well, you know, it'll be a learning experience. Perhaps you should walk more carefully. Yeah. And then he, and like, he, he you drops take your melodious voice and suck my fucking dick. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he, he drops a rusty dagger and then as he flies away he leaves a trail behind him that says 127 hours yeah exactly it's it's like that uh it's it's magic man from adventure time <laughs> eat it yeah eat it <laughs> like not until you recognize what a jerk i am you know <laughs> that, that's what the, these things are yeah the only good thing about them is that you can skin them and sell their skin <laughs> but that marks you like it basically gets the entire justice league of magnificent beasts to, oh, to come wow. after you <laughs> It's like you thought a Kodal would, you know, <laughs> was, you thought Kieran is bad. Wait until you meet Kodal and the fucking like storm giant yeah, or whatever. Yeah, well, wait, wait till Cog you giant. wait till you meet the Kowaddle that was actually this guy's uh, uh, ex lover. Right? Oh man! <laughs> now I'm like, never gonna get closure. These, these guys, these guys in like a sitcom, the Kodal and Kieran, like you know, <laughs> magic power hour of these guys just being, you know, you you meet people like that where they're like too, like they're too amazing. Oh, yeah. You know, like, yeah. it's just like, oh, these people are just like 
too beautiful and good to be and I can't handle it. <laughs> like, I, it's not their fault. Like, I mean, this is their fault. These piece, things, monster piece of shit. But yeah. in real life where it's like, I can't be around this. Yeah, it's um, it's it's not the best instinct that I have. I'm not no, no, I'm no. not proud of it. I'm not either. I just think it's a, I think it's a human thing. I think, right, it, right. you know, yeah. at least semi relatable where you're just like, this is too good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but before before we move on, uh, this guy has one particularly uh, salient ability, something that we have expressed affection for in the past. Um, he can create food at will, and that is primarily like the primary way that it sustains itself, which makes absolutely no fucking sense. <laughs> no. Hey, Kyrin, we actually obey the laws of thermodynamics. I don't care if you can summon a kitty pool full of orchata at will. You're going to pay for it like everybody else. Well, you know, and the way he would do it, too, is it like, you know, he summons you like a, a peanut buster far, parfait, but he puts it <laughs> on like the top shelf or puts it on like your roof. So you have to use a rake to get it down, uh-huh. you know, just like you, like you have to, you know, th- this is a, like I've, I've summoned you a Zagnut, but it's inside this lawnmower that may start at any moment. <laughs> Brought to you by our backers at Patreon.com slash DuckFeedTV. 